I think in you know math or science, you're following you know concrete rules of how things are done, and um, you know some students like that. But here, you know, you you have to depend on yourself. But uh, I think the satisfaction of of being successful is you know uh, more dramatic in here because it's stuff that you create. We have to edify the community how important the arts are. And I think here in Bow, um, the arts are supported to a certain degree. Music is certainly supported. Um, and the art, the fine arts are supported as well. But I think that it needs to go beyond that. And I think that uh, somebody needs to realize that kids need to have more than they have already. What they have is good. But I don't think it's enough drudgery associated with papers, but with a, a film project, it's something exciting, and new, and fresh. My name is Richard Hedrick, my friends call me Rick, and I teach art, visual art, here at Bow High School. Samuel Dixon, and I teach uh, English Humanities and Video Broadcasting, which is a course that's designed around uh, journalism, video journalism, and I teach filmmaking. My name is Dr. Grace Freegy, and I teach art at Boat High School. I love to draw, and I also like to do watercolor. I did not take an art course, uh, well, it wasn't even offered until I was a junior in high school. I would have liked to have gotten a, a much greater head start than, than I did. But. I really like uh, the visual medium, cameras, uh, whether it's still photography or whether it's film. I didn't get to take a single art course other than band and, uh, in high school. And I wanted to go take something, you know, painting, sculpting, something, but it, it just wasn't going to do so. I was in a school where I was very much tracked, so I 
I could, you know, I had my college track and I couldn't deviate from that at all. I was like, man, I wish I had something in high school that could have, you know, exposed me to the filmmaking thing because I probably would have gone to be a filmmaker or something instead of a teacher. Um, whether that's good or bad, I, I don't know, but um, you know, it would have certainly opened up some other options for me. In high school, we weren't offered all of the things that you guys are offered today. We didn't have a potter's wheel, we didn't have a, a pottery class, we didn't have a sculpture class. There were very few classes that you could take, like maybe art one or drawing or painting, but that was pretty much the extent of it. It takes a while, and that's the challenge to get, you know, to build up that self-confidence for them to kind of take over and let their, you know, their creativity take control of what they're doing. There's never enough time. We could always use more money for more computers, better computers, more cameras, better cameras, more lighting. Um, you know, we always need to update this computer, that computer. If somebody has that, you know, like, aha moment where something just comes to them, something creative, and their eyes light up, um, there's nothing more special than that. I think that's just a, a really cool thing. When people are successful, you feel successful. I love the kids. And I love to see them when they go, Oh, yeah, now I get it. I can do that. It's great. I like seeing what the kids are capable of doing. Just, you know, one kid, one camera, a script and a storyboard, and boom, you've got magic. And, and it's great to see the energy and enthusiasm students put into their projects because it's really such a great medium for so many kids to express themselves and to think about things, to really explore uh, visuals and audio and explore their world in very different ways. This it teaches you how to creatively problem solve. I don't care what you do for a career, you, you need to be able to, you know, creatively problem solve and that's how you move ahead in whatever your career is. Uh, those who can do that uh, move forward and those who can't kind of kind of tread water for, you know, a little bit more. So uh, I think it's very, very important whether you want to be an artist or not. The recent data shows that the number one thing that business and industry is looking for are not scientists or mathematicians. They're looking for creativity. So it should be required that every single student take at least one art class. Students should take this class because it gives them an experience to, to learn something new and to try something new. And if you don't try something, how do you know that's not what you're meant to do? You know, if you've never made a movie, then what if you were meant to be a great movie maker? It teaches them many skills, lifetime skills. It teaches them how to think creatively. It teaches them how to think critically. It teaches them how to analyze. Art is a vehicle for expression, which is a, a wonderful um, therapeutic thing even. So it teaches kids many, many things. It, doing something that they haven't done before. And that was something I didn't get in high school and, and wish I could have. I wish I could have experimented and tried more stuff. It's like you see right through me and make it easier. Fun dog on it. Please me, it don't even